everybody. I wanted to come on here really quickly and talk about two stories that I wanted to share with you guys. The for, first one is about Portia Williams uh, and Simon. He's just really playing a better divorce game. It is what it is. We're going to talk about him uh, delivering a cease and desist and what this means to Portia. Then we're going to talk about Will Smith, who made a major comeback in a major way, but how some of Hollywood, they're just not feeling it. Because they will hate Will Smith forever. So let's start with Portia and Simon. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard by now, yesterday, Simon served Portia and Bravo with a cease and desist. And he did that because he didn't want Portia filming in the Rolls Royce that was gifted to her by him. But is it really a gift if it's still in his name? I mean, girl, how did you get caught slipping like that? Now, Portia, I love you. I think all women should get something when you're going through a divorce. I think you should not walk away empty-handed, period. There's only one exception a woman should walk away, and that is if your name is Portia Williams. Portia, there's no other way for me to say this. He is kicking your ass. Clearly, you have been outsmarted. Nobody wins all the time, Portia. Even though you are a pro at going after men and getting what you want, on this one right here, when the name is Simon Gubadia, you have got to take the L. What was that saying that Kenny Rogers used to say? You got no when to hold up, no when to fold up. Know when to walk away and know when to run. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. And when you sit down and look at the cards that have been dealt to you and you realize there's no winning, you must, okay, you must fold. Because Portia, he is making you look dumber and dumber every single day. I could just see it now. You're on the way to the store. You get in the car. You start it up. Hold up, hold up. We got a cease and desist here. He said, you don't own the car. But he bought it for me for my birthday. So what? It's in his name. Get on out of it. Before he gets real mad and sues the network. And not only did he humiliate you and say, you can't film in the Rolls Royce that you swear up and down that's yours, but it doesn't have your name on it. Then he goes back to social media to make sure he puts in the dagger and turns it. This is what he said. I'm in a big mood for being sassy and petty. Big part of my personality. And I give credit to that trait for so much of my success in life. Popular opinion does not get me paid. Being relentless does. When you call me sassy and petty, I take it as a compliment. Then he reiterates what he told you a couple days ago. No more Africans. No more Rolls Royces. Hashtag buy your own. Oh, my God, Simon. Now, Portia, you know I'm a huge fan, but this is going to get worse if you keep trying to outsmart this man. You're not good at it. Okay, you're not good at it. If you don't stop now, stop trying to walk away from this marriage with anything. He wants you to walk away with what you came in with, and that's nothing. If you don't do that, he's going to ruin your reality TV career. And let me tell you why. It's so much that you are facing to lose by continuously trying to fight Simon. Number one, this is Andy Cohen's comeback. Okay, the network told him that you got to get those numbers up because if you don't, you're out like they're they're not owned. They're just not going to sit here and put a whole bunch of money into a failing show. They're not going to do that. So not only is your job on the line this season, Portia, so is Andy Cohen's. This has to work. He cannot fail. He promised them a better season for Roa if he does not do that then he has to hit the road jack and don't you come back no more no more no more no more okay this is crucial and i really do think it would have worked if simon wasn't playing these head games with you but since he is you have to call an audible you have to change your plans so the first thing on your list should be give the man everything that's his walk away because it's destroying your storyline 
And it sounds like, from what I've been seeing in the uh, media, that Kenya's really stepping up, coming forward. She's releasing tapes and then saying that she didn't release the tapes. She's uh, really feuding with the new girl. I believe she called her a prostitute, but it doesn't matter. My point is, you are shrinking on your own show. These other personalities are moving into the spotlight. And you know how ruthless Bravo is, okay? I would hate to wake up one morning and hear that uh, Portia's now a friend of the show because she couldn't film anything without a cease and desist. And then really, I mean, you'll have a bad reputation in reality TV, period. So you've got to stop. Give this man what he wants, and all he wants is what's his. Give it to him. It's his. Move on. Move back into your own house and you know, continue living your life that way as a reality TV star. But if you waste your time and effort and energy on fighting this man who doesn't want to give you the things that are rightfully his, okay, they're his, it's his money and all of that, then you're just going to uh, ruin your own life. I mean, it is what it is. Stop or take a dive and walk away with nothing, including a reality TV career. Now, that's just my opinion. Let's move on to Will Smith. The Will Smith and Martin Lawrence movie, Bad Boys 4, is a smash hit, okay? $100 million on opening box office weekend. That is, oh my gosh, unbelievable. And it also makes it without any uncertainty that Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are truly what they call Hollywood A-listers. Now, this is making some of the Hollywood elite very, very upset. But they don't come forward and talk about it. The only person talking about it is Rob Schneider. Will Smith is a twat. Oh, I liked him. He, Will Smith has been hiding the fact of who he really is, and it was exposed that night. that He's really an asshole. But I wasn't allowed to say anything at that time because we were part of the committee right. that was supposed to punish him. And how do you punish him? Wow, wow, wait, wait. Just back up a second. (laughs) Hang on. I want to know Will Smith is is like, for me, when I met him, right, I I always say. Like the nicest, most wonderful. He's a liar. Complete, utter fraud. Will is is a douchebag, and that's something that you can't. The thing is, that's how politically correct the Academy is. Right. That they were so cowardly. Because if I would have done that, they would have been hauled out to prison. Because, like, they were so worried about being, you know, racist. Violence is what it is. And whether who, what the color of your skin or, the your, you know, your religion doesn't sure, matter. Sure. If you commit a crime in front of other people, you get hauled out of there. Yeah, but, but didn't you also sort of think, oh, he's standing up for his missus? You didn't like that? It either? doesn't matter. You can't hit another dude. Now, a lot of people are upset about this. They're saying that if he committed a crime, why isn't he behind bars? If he committed a crime, why is BB4 the number one movie out there? And to a lot of people, what he's thinking is, listen, we had you down and out. We put you up against the rope. You were supposed to leave Hollywood and go crawl in your corner and cry for the rest of your life. How did he do this? How did this happen? This is really what Rob Schneider is wondering. And let me tell you how it happened. Do you guys remember when I reported back? Oh, I can't even remember. It might have been maybe a month after the uh, Chris Rock slapping. There was a group of prominent black African-American actors that got together. I believe it was Whoopi Goldberg, who's also on the uh, committee that was responsible for getting rid of him. It was Whoopi Goldberg. It was Sidney Poitier, Denzel Washington, uh, Quincy Jones, and I'm missing somebody. Anyway, they all rallied behind Will Smith because they thought that he was a really great actor, which he is and that his voice deserved to be heard in Hollywood. They called in favors, they talked to producers, they talked to directors. They said, look, Will Smith really is a good guy. He was going through a lot in his personal life. According to the rumors, Jada was sleeping with Chris, and he just lost it. He also went through deep therapy uh, with himself and another therapist, and, and he really got the strength to say, I don't need Jada Pinkett Smith. I am fine by myself, on my own. I do not want this woman to keep playing head games with me. That's what she was doing. She really was. She's a narcissist in its truest form. 
She actually wrote a book and she went around promoting this book and she was talking about at August Alsina and just, you know, really made Will look bad. I believe she talked about, you know, he's not good in bed and stuff like this. And it was just a whole mess. And that's when Will started appearing around town with this mystery woman that he was allegedly dating. He also started doing interviews going around saying things like, oh, me and Jada, we thought we could make each other happy. I don't really necessarily need marriage to be happy, you know, and it started worrying the hell out of Jada. Not only that, they stopped talking for like six months. Then rumors start circulating that Will Smith really did want to divorce Jada. And he really looked like he just transformed back into a happy person. And as far as his career was going, with this mega success of Bad Boys 4, it's just no doubt that Will Smith is still what is known as a Hollywood A-list actor or the master of his craft. So what do you guys think? Do you think Will Smith worked hard on himself and deserves to be where he is today? Or do you agree with Rob Schneider? Is he just a low-down bum that needs to be kicked out of Hollywood? And Simon and Portia, isn't it time for Portia to give it up? If it's not, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Until next time, bye for now.